About a year ago, I made a video talking about the possibilities of AI replacing web developers. And in that video, I specifically said that I don't think AI will replace developers. If anything, AI will be leveraged as a new kind of tool to help developers build websites much faster. Now, fast forward one year, and in all fairness, AI has made some massive uh, developments over the past year. And naturally, people are going concerned once again that, oh, the advancements of AI, it's such at an alarming rate that isn't it only a matter of time before AI will replace all web developers. And that's why I felt compelled to make another video discussing this particular topic. My short answer a year on is no, I still don't think AI will replace developers anytime soon. And I'm going to give you my reasons for thinking this way. First of all, I don't know how old you are watching this video. I don't know if you remember back in the days, this was 2009, 2010, when WordPress was first introduced to the web development community. I remember back then there was this growing concern that, oh, WordPress being this content management system, it's going to make it so easy for people to build websites. People will no longer need the expertise of web developers and so on. Because look, CMS platforms were a major revolution. Prior to them, prior to the likes of WordPress, we were hard coding our websites. I don't know if you remember this, but we used to hard code in HTML, CSS, PHP, JavaScript, just to make the smallest of changes, we would have to hard code that change into the files for that particular website. And of course, WordPress came in. We also had Joomla, we had Drupal, we had all these other CMS systems. And I remember very well, I still remember it like it was yesterday, developers were afraid that, oh, WordPress is gonna become so easy for people to use. People will no longer want to work with web developers. Why would they wanna work with web developers when they can simply install a theme, add some plugins, and then they have a functional website? Well, fast forward some 10, 15 years later, and people are still looking to WordPress developers to build their websites. See, all this talk about, oh, AI is here. Now with AI, you can get code in a matter of seconds, code that will take even the best programmers to code in like 24 hours or 48 hours. ChatGPT will give you that in a few seconds. Yes, that is all true. That is absolutely true. But I guarantee you that the vast majority of people, even till this day, still don't use AI in their daily lives. Maybe you, you're watching, maybe you, you, you use ChatGPT, maybe you use Claude and other AI models, but the vast majority of the human race still don't use AI. You would be amazed at how many people still do not use AI till this very day. Now, even those who already use AI and they want to build a website, do you honestly think that most of them have the time to learn how to use AI to generate the code for their WordPress website, how to then apply the code on their actual site? Most of them don't have the time to learn how to do so. If WordPress, look, let's be honest about this, okay? WordPress made it extremely easy for people with no background whatsoever in IT or web development to be able to build their websites. Let's be honest about this. If anyone actually spent, let's say, between 10 to 20 hours learning how to work with WordPress, they would be able to build a very simple website for themselves. Let's be honest about this. But most people, the kinds of people who will give you money to build their website, they don't have that time to learn how to work with WordPress or how to leverage the use of AI to build their websites. They simply don't have that time. They would rather give a developer that they trust money, say, hey, here is money, build my site for me. That's exactly what has always happened. And that's what will continue to happen until the day that you can go to ChatGPT and say, hey, ChatGPT, build me a website for my business, do this, do this, do this and do that. And then ChatGPT magically creates that website. It registers the website on a web host, registers your domain, adds all the files, does everything. Until that day arrives, and I don't think it's ever gonna happen anytime soon, until that day, 
web developers are safe from AI replacing them. Now, this doesn't mean that AI isn't going to disrupt the industry. It will, it already is. But it's going to disrupt the industry in a way that will force developers to improve or evolve their skills. Just like with the way WordPress came in and started forcing us developers to still learn how to use WordPress, how to work with plugins, themes, and so on, is the exact same thing in here as well. We're gonna have to learn how we can integrate AI into helping us build websites much faster and much more effectively. I remember going back again to the early days of WordPress, we had the purists, the web developers who only wanted to code in PHP and JavaScript and HTML and CSS, and then they will look down on other developers who use WordPress as, oh, you're not, a, you're not a real developer if you don't use PHP and, and JavaScript, you know. WordPress is for, the, is for the newbies, right? I remember those days perfectly fine. We had people who were so resistant to using WordPress because they felt, oh, if you're using WordPress, you're not a real web developer. I remember those days perfectly well. So I don't think there's going to be that much backlash today with the use of AI. I don't think so. But the point I'm trying to raise here is that if those people, those purists did not evolve to learn how to work with WordPress, they'll be out of business. Maybe some of them went out of business, I don't know. But WordPress, the evolution of WordPress, it forced developers to start learning how to work with WordPress, how to work with plugins, how to work with themes and so on, in order to be able to build websites. So it's the same thing in here as well. We as developers, we're going to have to learn how we can leverage the use of AI to help us. We cannot fight AI. You cannot fight AI. It is here and it's going to be in our lives for a very long time. You cannot stop it. It's coming. It's here already. And it's only going to get more and more advanced. So instead of being afraid of AI replacing you, think of ways how you can leverage the use of AI to assist you. That's what AI is here for. And look, Remember WordPress, again, I have to use WordPress because it is the best example I can give pertaining to this uh, situation. WordPress created so many different types of opportunities for developers. We had actual WordPress developers who would build websites, right? But then we also had the theme developers, people who came and developed WordPress themes. We had those who created WordPress plugins and so on. WordPress created such a massive market for so many kinds of skills pertaining to web development. The same thing with AI as well. In fact, I wanted to show you this real quick. There's this plugin called AI Engine by Jody Meow. <laughs> he must love cats, I guess. But look at that, already 100,000 plus active installations. And what this plugin does is that it helps websites to integrate with AI platforms like your ChatGPT and so on. So there's going to be plenty of opportunities like this for developers to start creating plugins or themes that are AI friendly, that help the website to integrate with AI and so on. So AI is going to create new kinds of opportunities for us. Now, I also used ChatGPT's uh, deep uh, research tool, okay, and I said, okay, give me the research, the demand for web development in the emerging age of AI and the future forecast. And of course, ChatGPT asked me to be more specific. I said, let's go with global trends. Uh, let's do a research on the job market demand. And then for the particular kind of skill, I said WordPress specifically, and then the forecast within the next 10 years. And of course, ChatGPT gave me a very, very thorough analysis. And in here, it says that the demand is only going to surge even greater. All right. It says over here that... Uh, where is it? Uh, the job market, I do apologize. I cannot see it yet. It's over here. It was somewhere, it was somewhere around in here. It said, oh, there you go. There you go. It said one analysis once of a staggering 85.2 million IT worker deficit projected by 2030 worldwide. In other words, by 2030, companies may have tens of millions more tech roles, including web development roles then there are skilled people to fill them. So if anything, if anything, the demand for web developers and web skills is only going to surge even with the introduction of AI. Now it goes even further. AI's influence on web development 
roles and skills. So it says in here that yes, AI will automate routine code and tasks. Uh, AI coding assistants like your GitHub, your Copilot, your ChatGPT and others can generate boilerplate uh, code, suggest improvements, dramatically speed up development. And as one VP of developer relations uh, observes, most of the code that is written for in business applications is boilerplate code, which AI can produce uh, much faster than humans. So yes, AI will be leveraged by developers to speed up the development process. It's just gonna be a tool that developers will use to build websites a lot faster. And of course, it goes on and on and on and on. And even specifically for WordPress, it says that demand for WordPress is only going to increase even more. Considering that WordPress right now is one of the largest platforms for building websites, it powers about 43% of the top 10 million websites, which is simply insane. And of course, you know, the integration of AI and automation with WordPress and so on. So look, uh, you might be thinking, oh, wait a second, okay? If you're using AI to do a research on how AI might, you know, terminate or replace certain kinds of people, isn't it gonna lie? Don't worry, okay? ChatGPT isn't that smart, okay? This isn't, this isn't kind of, okay? AI or ChatGPT in this case isn't smart enough to lie just so that we don't have to fear it, okay? No, it's not going to do that, okay? I trust uh, ChatGPT's uh, deep research tool. It's very, very, very powerful. I've used it for that kinds of research before, and the results have often been very, very uh, uh, fantastic. So I personally, I am not concerned in any way whatsoever about AI replacing web developers. Now, I want to mention something that I didn't mention in the previous video, and that's regarding web designers. I'm not talking about the web developers who do, the, who do the actual coding, who can build sites. I'm talking about the web designers who don't know how to code, but are able to design websites using Canva or Photoshop or you know wh whatever they use. They're the ones whom I believe are in more danger of being replaced by AI. Because I have seen AI design some websites and those websites look amazing. So the demand for web designers specifically is going to decline massively. In fact, in my final years as an actual active web developer building sites for clients, I stopped making use of web designers. Previously, whenever I got like a contract from a company to build a website, I would first you know, get, get a designer to design the site for me and then I'll build it out. But then with as WordPress themes started getting better and much better, all I would simply do is I will send the clients like 10 or 15 different types of themes and say, hey, choose one out of these 15 themes whose layout you like, and I'll build your site for you. So the demand for web designers specifically, I believe is gonna go down, and these designers have to evolve, okay? Either they have to learn how to code or find a job in another industry, but designers specifically, I feel, are very, very likely going to be replaced completely uh, by AI. But for as actual web developers who can code, I don't think that's gonna happen uh, anytime uh, soon. So. Those are my thoughts on the topic. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. Put them down in the comment section below. Uh, if you're new here to the channel, welcome to the Web Monkey Show. My name is Alex. I cover topics involving uh, web development and WordPress. So if you do enjoy content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Stay safe out there and I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.